creativity and business, are they two different worlds? Some people say that creativity on the one hand and business on the other are like opposites, or at least like oil and water, they just don't mix. I agree that sometimes there can be conflicts, but fundamentally I disagree that they are so different. I believe that we can bring together in harmony creativity and business to achieve the success that we want. What upsets me actually is a lot of the creative people I work with, they're amazing. They've got fantastic creativity, whether as designers, artists, musicians, photographers, filmmakers. They're brilliant. In the studio or the workshop, they're just switched on, creative, intelligent, buzzing, fantastic. But something happens to them when they walk out of their studio and into their office. And it's as if they switch off their intelligence and their imagination. And when they do the business stuff about setting up a company, partnerships, money, pricing, marketing, they switch off their intelligence and they do it in the most boring, unimaginative, dull, conservative kind of way. And it hurts me. It upsets me. Because these are intelligent people. And in my view, we can be highly creative within the office, not only in the studio, in the way that we do business, in our business system, in how we set up businesses and companies, who we go into partnership with, how we manage money, how we generate income. So we need to be creative in that way. Crowd financing is the equivalent in terms of raising money. Instead of going to one banker or one investor for the money, you can actually go to the crowd and say, each, you know, maybe a lot of people can give us a small amount to get this business going. And the inspiration for a discussion I started on the Creative Enterprise Network, which you can look at, lots of examples, people have contributed from all over the world. The inspiration was actually three sixth formers in England who wanted to make a feature film, like you do when you're a sixth former. But even the micro-budget feature film costs £100,000. That's cheap for a film. And it's not the kind of money we carry around. So they could have sold and said, we're never going to do it. But what they did is set up a website, said, we want to do this project, and if you give us one pound by PayPal or credit card, we'll give you a credit in the film. And they got 110,000 pounds. Well done. I raised my hats to them. Imaginative thinking, not only about how to make a film, but how to make the finances for the film. So we can use our creativity in lots of ways. So in finishing off, I'd say, achieve your own version of success. Don't follow other people. Don't just go with the crowds. Decide what you mean by success. That's my starting point as a consultant. Do you want to be successful? Yes. What do you mean by success? Because if you can't define success, I can't help you to get that. And it's not for me to define success for you as a consultant, or for your friends, or neighbours, or society at large. You decide what you mean by success, and then design your own business to get there. So in conclusion I would say, yes you can combine creativity and business in a way that's consistent, harmonious, to achieve the success you want. So good luck with doing that, good luck with combining creativity and business, and that's what I call t-shirts and suits. Thank you.